Christmas. Go ahead and go back to bed. Dora, come on. I got you a present. Oh, a present? Alright, so where's this grand present of yours? Here it is. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Blue, of course. What the? Oh. It's, uh... It, it's a cat toy. Yeah, it's a little toy plushie of you. Do you like it? Yeah, yeah I love it. I'll cuddle with it and, and, and stuff. Awesome. I'm so glad you like it. So, uh, where's my Christmas present? Uh, you did get me a Christmas present, right? Oh, what? Uh, of course I did. <laughs> yeah. Of course, uh, of course I did. I, of course I got your Christmas present, but it's it's a really big thing, so you need to uh, hide under the blanket. Um, okay. How am I gonna get enough presents to make up for this? She's been so nice to me. She's been the best roommate, and she, she, she ugh, she paid all her bills on time, and 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 that kind of idea. Christmas montage. I'm done. Rosie, you can come out now. Oh my gosh. Andorra, you didn't need to get me this much stuff. I feel so bad. I actually forgot about Christmas and I just went Christmas shopping. I'm sorry. What? It's alright. It happens. You have a lot of extended family and a close family. I didn't even expect you to remember me. Oh. Well. Have fun! Well, okay then. I guess we're doing a Christmas haul, aren't we? Sheesh. Good Christmas morning, everybody! In case you're about to a um, ask. Yes, this is late, and I'm perfectly aware of that. You know why? Because my internet is super duper slow, and I've got to upload somewhere else. So, yeah, this is going to be a couple days late. But the fact I'm making a video at all is a miracle, to say the least. Anyway, so, here we go. So I've sorted out the piles into stuff that came from my neighbors slash friends. This pile is, um, myself, my mom, and our friend Mary Jane went out to a store called, to a store called Joanne Fabrics, and mom bought me a bunch of stuff. Well, I picked it out, and she paid for it, so. That technically doesn't count as a Christmas present, but I'm putting it in there anyway. And then over here is stuff that my mom and dad got me. Well, mom, and then there's more stuff over here, but it's too big to fit on the table with the rest, so. We'll get to that at the end of the video. Let's get to it. So let's start with this pile over here. I'm gonna put my sleeves up a bit. So first we have, let me just move these out of the way. This is from, okay, there's gonna be dogs barking in the background. I'm just telling you right now, we have 16 dogs, so you'll have to pardon them. So this is from my friend, Mary Jane. There you go. And what she got me was this. This is a 30 page Canson watercolor paper pad, which is awesome because I've heard really good things about Canson. And in case anybody is a super duper watercolor paper expert, this is cold press. I have no idea what the freak that means, but okay. 
cold press it is. You know, I, I don't know what that means, but okay. And look, look how huge this thing is. That's my hand. That's the paper. I mean, my hand's kind of small, but still, you get the point. It's huge. And it's awesome. We're definitely going to be making some watercolor pictures with that. And she also got me to go along with that a watercolor set. And I'm going to be doing a review on this sometime probably in late January. And in case you are wondering what the company is called, it's Royal and Langnickel. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure, but this is really awesome. And I love just the wood case itself. It's really pretty. So I'm very excited about that. But I will do a review on that later this year. Well, this year 2018 it's still 2017 but you get the point next up I got this last night which was Christmas Eve from our friends slash neighbors Mike and Melissa Melissa got me these and uh where's the other one there's another one oh here it is so first she got me this really beautiful necklace because she get, she um uh, went on a tropical cruise will you shut up thank you okay and she got me this necklace, which has got a little hibiscus flower in the middle. I mean, it's plastic. It's not real, but still, it's really pretty. And it's made of coconut wood. So I thought that was pretty awesome. I love necklaces. So I was very happy about that. And then she got me this, which is a moisturizing body cream that's in cherry blossom. And it smells really good. If this was smell o vision I would have you smell it, but it's not. So, And then this, she got me this little... It's not Hello Kitty, it's just a bunch of cats on pink, but I think they're really cute. Look at that one, it's so precious. It's got black cats on it because I used to have a black cat, and just, I think that's just nice. And this is a bunch of stuff. Let's see what we got in here. So we got these really pretty bobby pins. Oh wait, I forgot one thing in the other room. Hold on one second. And I got this, I think this is called a barrette, I might be wrong about that. It's just really pretty. I actually wore it last night to our little Christmas get-together with our neighbors. And then a bunch of nail stuff. So we got this little diamond nail art thing. I'm not 100% sure how to put these on. I think you need glue, but eh, I don't know. And then this, a bunch of fake nails because Melissa knows me so well. And I already have some of these. The more the merrier. And then got nail polish. Which, this particular color right here, which is like a purpley pink, it's actually a neon purple. And uh, I have not this as a nail polish, but as a paint. So I just thought it was really funny. I was like, is that the same color as that? And it is. So, that was just funny. And then the sparkly pink. So, very happy with that. Definitely going to be using that. And then a bunch of nail cleaning tools. Which I needed my own set because I keep using my mom's and I'm sure she doesn't appreciate that. Yay! And of course, just this little bag itself is so cute. So, thank you, Melissa and Mary Jane for the watercolor stuff. Second pile is the day before yesterday when me, mom, and Mary Jane. Melissa was supposed to come with us, but she got sick. So, that's fine. We went to uh, three stores, actually. One was Joanne Fabrics, where I got most of the stuff. Two was a place called Second and Charles, which is kind of like Books A Million, but they take used books as well. And I got this, which I read on the way home. It took me like 30 minutes. But it's, manga, it's not a full book, so it didn't take me super long. And yes, I'm a fan of the Warriors series. And then from Joanne Fabrics, we got fabric. I mean, did you really expect me to go to a fabric store and not get fabric? It's not just a fabric store, it's got other things too, but it's mostly fabric. Well, at least half the store is. So I got this really pretty pink leopard print, and then I got shoes. It's got snow leopard print. I, I like animal print, okay? Don't give me that look. And I got these big woolly socks. They're so fluffy. And I got this, which I've been looking for this, because a couple days ago I saw, um, it wasn't a Christmas haul, but it was a... It was a shopping haul video by LPS Ace, and she got something like this with plants and rocks and stuff. And I was like, oh, I wish one of the stores in my area had that. And there's supposed to be a Joanne Fabrics opening over in Oxford, which is like 30 minutes away from my house. And you know what's even funny? They were op supposed to be opening over a year ago. Over a year! October or November 2016. 
And you know what happened? Somebody wasn't paying their subcontractors. So that didn't happen. Yeah, so I probably would have found this sooner, but oh well. And they don't have anything like this at Hobby Lobby as far as I'm aware of. I didn't see any, so I'll have to go double check. But basically it's got like moss and there's supposed to be a... Well, let's just rip it open and see what's in here. There's a ton of moss in here. I technically already have a ton of moss, but eh, why not more? Am I right? Okay. okay just give me a moment. Oh dear. Oh, things are falling out. Here we go. Alright, got it. Really, that's the only thing that was holding it together. Oh, these are actually little wood pieces, but they look like rocks. Oh, that's cool. So, here you go. Here's all the moss. We got Spanish moss. We got other types of moss. I gotta look at the list here. There's a list on the thing. So, mood moss clumps, terrarium bark, which is probably this stuff. Uh, what else have we got? Reindeer moss, Spanish moss, and a moss mat. Well, I don't know how to tell one from the other. I know this this kind of stringy stuff is Spanish moss just because I've seen it so much. Because most of my grandparents live in the south where there's Spanish moss. So. I don't moss growing on the cardboard. That's whack. Oh, this is so cool. Sweet. That is awesome. I better be careful with that so I don't spill it everywhere. It was a little difficult to get open and there's dirt, but now I'll vacuum it up later. Just, yeah. It's getting all my other presents. So, there's that. And then these big storage things because I constantly need more of these and I can't figure out why. Hmm, it's not like I buy things. No. Why would why would I why would I ever do such a thing? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Yeah, I have a lot, like a lot, a lot of LPS accessories, so that's what these are for. There's one more thing, if I can find it, I I think I misplaced it, crud, I didn't even open it yet, where is it, shoot, I'm so angry, it was right, how did you end up over here, it was in one of my cards, excuse me? Okay, whatever. My present's trying to run away from me. I got this, which is like a little spice chest. And they did not have a lot of miniatures in Dryan Fabrics, but they had stuff for fairy gardens, if you know what those are. Just so you do. It's just a little tiny spice rack. Can you see that? There's a lot of glare. There we go. I guess you can't read that. It says nutmeg, uh, parsley, ginger, cinnamon, basil, and pep peppercar, pe paprika, paprika. That that thing. So I just thought this was really cute, so I bought it. Well, mom bought it for me because she's awesome. Thank you, mom. And last, but certainly not least, the stuff I got from my parents. That were actually my Christmas presents. And let's just start off with this because I really wasn't expecting to get any LPS because I never get any LPS, even though that's the one thing I like constantly ask for. But I, I got one from my mom, and when I was. Um, you know how you shake your presents to figure out what they are? I was shaking this, and I forgot they only had two sides of this flyer part instead of three, because I thought it was three, but. It's two, so I didn't think it was LPS. And she's like, you already have that. And I'm like, oh, I do? And when I opened it up, I realized, I do! It's the same kangaroo. But I guess I'll just turn the other one into a custom, or trade it or something. I'm not percent sure. But there you go. And then I got this color book. And for anyone who knows me, knows that I love foxes. So I'll just give you a quick flip through. Very excited about that. Do, do, do. 
and I don't seem as excited as I probably should be because all of this stuff is so awesome. But I stayed up until one o'clock this morning, and the first thing I ate today was a what was a gingerbread cookie, and I had a ton of sugar last night, so I'm kind of low on energy. I didn't have lunch yesterday either, so yeah, I should probably eat some bacon and eggs for breakfast. I, I think that would be the most healthy thing for me, but I'll do that later. And the mom made this for me. I gotta back it up a little. Look at that. Can you see it? Yeah, you can. It's huge! It's a fox. It's a wall hang. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I'm gonna put it somewhere. It's so pretty. My mom made this for me. And I like kind of snuck in a little peek at the plans or whatever. And this looks completely different from what I thought it was. I thought it was one of those cartoony foxes like jumping over a lake or something. How did I see that in this? I don't... I don't know. I'm going to have to go back and look at that because I'm so eternally confused. But that is really cool and I love that. And then I got a card from my grandmummy and papa. And then I got one from... Um, I probably shouldn't be showing the front of that. I got one from our friends back in Connecticut, Sue. Or Susan, we call her Sue. So this is a card from her. Look at Christmas tree, it's just so cute. And she got me a Hobby Lobby card! How awesome is that? It's $25. And if that wasn't cool enough, because you can get miniatures and stuff at Hobby Lobby and other things, guess what Grandma and Papa got me? That's right, a Hobby Lobby card. Do -do -do. Also for $25. So I have $50 of Hobby Lobby gift cards. That's so awesome. I'm very, very happy about that. You have no idea. So Maybe we'll make a shopping trip video in the next couple of weeks. Who knows? Who knows? As far as I'm aware of, um, gift cards don't have an expiration date, do they? Um, let's see... This gift card has no expiration date. Well then. This gift card has no expiration date then. And I'm guessing the other one doesn't either. So. And last, and certainly not least, this is technically both a Christmas present and my birthday present from Mom and Dad, if I can figure out where to open this. To the Lion King Broadway show in Birmingham. How cool is that? And... They would have given this to me, like, closer to my birthday and told me, but I was making plans for my birthday. I was telling my mom, because we were in the mall and we were walking around, and I was like, okay, for my birthday I want to do this, this, and this, and we'll bring Mary Jane and Melissa, and she was like, we kind of already have plans, and I was like, really? And she was like, you want me to tell you? And I was like, mm, yes. And we're going to the Lion King! Woo! That is super awesome, and you'll definitely see a vlog of that of some sort, so. That is, oh wait, no, that's not everything. Hold up, hold up. First of all, huge, I gotta back this up. Huge, huge sweater. Like, this thing is massive. So, big purple sweater. Love this. I wish I had this during the snow days in Alabama, but I didn't. So hopefully there will be most more really cold days so I can wear this. <laughs> oh man. And then, I guess I could wear this under that. It's a little small for me, but it's a shirt with a rooster on it. Can you see that? Yeah, you can. Okay, there you go. So I just thought that's really cute. And then, technically, I already knew about this because I saw it at the thrift store and I was like, Mom, can we get it? And she was like, I'll get it for you, but only if you get it on your on uh on Christmas. And I was like, okay, fine. This. I'm gonna hold this up over here. It's a pretty blue dress. Do 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 do. 
and I've tried this on and I freaking look like a million bucks in this. Take my word for it. This is definitely one of my favorite gifts. I love this. And then, I was kind of worried that dad wouldn't get me anything. And you know what? Mom got me a ton of stuff. And I was worried dad wasn't going to get me anything. Like, mom got me a ton of stuff, and that's awesome. But, you know, one, at least one from each prayer would have been nice. And he got me this. This thing is huge! And I've been talking about this for months. I wanted a bow and arrow. And I don't... And these are not technically, like, wood arrows. Or, I guess they are arrows, but they look more like darts. They're huge. Look how freaking big this thing is. It's massive. I can't fit the whole thing on camera. This thing is... I am standing straight. And this thing is almost as tall as me. This thing's got to be like over four feet tall. Holy mackerel. And I would love to use this on an archery range that we have in Heflin. Um, which is the town I live. Technically not, but technically yes. Anyway, but uh, I have to have a hunting license in order to use it, and I'm only 15, and you have to be over 16, so. Well, I mean, I'm 15 now, and I could just wait a couple of months, but I don't feel like waiting, so I think I'm just going to shoot it in my own yard. There's that for you. And that is everything. There is so much stuff. I have... I gotta rearrange a bit because I gotta figure out where I'm gonna put all this. Jeepers creepers. So I hope oh there we go. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm not trying to brag. I just you know, everybody does this. They show off what they got for Christmas. And I wanted this to also be a kind of a thank you video to everyone that gave me these gifts. Um my friends Melissa and Mary Jane and Sue from Connecticut, because I used to live in Connecticut, and she, was, she wasn't a neighbor, she was a friend. But, um, and my parents, of course. Thank you, guys. Mwah! So I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe, like the video, and uh, leave a comment down below for any video ideas that you might have involving, like, the moss and stuff. Because I, I have a couple ideas for what I'm going to use that for, settings and things, but, you know, I could always use more ideas. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.